Hello, this is Virgil Labrador, Editor-in-Chief of Satellite Markets and Research, and we're here at the NAB 2019 in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Utilsat booth with uh, Mike Antonovich. He's the uh, Mad, uh, CEO of, uh, CEO of, the Americas. of Utilsat Americas, which includes North and South America, Indeed. which is a very huge uh, region. The and, Lord God of all I <laughs> Yes, and uh, Mike has... We've worked together many years ago, many years, uh, many years ago. Uh, Mike has been in the industry for a long time. And uh, well, talk about- years now. Really? Years. <laughs> wow, that's very impressive. Yeah, so Mike, uh, uh, what, what specifically does Utilsat offer the uh, uh, broadcast market? Okay, well there's a number of new developments. We've been very busy over the many years. We operated originally as Satmex in the Americas, but we've had a 25 year history right. of operating in the marketplace, developing services throughout the continents, most mm -hmm. notably in television distribution, mm -hmm. in Mexico heading north and cable, right. and satellite news gathering type services. And we're still providing all those roles. Right. We really uh, have had a very successful year launching a number of new DTH platforms. Mm -hmm. We already have a very successful DTH in Mexico mm -hmm. and in Northern South America. We've also just added this year DTH platforms in the U.S. market, right. Brazil, and very soon to follow in the Caribbean basin. Um, but beyond that, on a service layer, we, we're introducing a, a product we call Cirrus, mm -hmm. um, which is about an integrated and harmonized approach to both live television distribution right. on a platform, plus the same interfaces and customer user experience mm -hmm. for traditional OTT delivery. So we're right. mirroring our satellite delivery to our OTT delivery with a common uh, you know, electronic program guide, mm -hmm. common scripts and, right. and show rundowns, a seven day look back on an SVOD type application. Right. And so the idea is that people follow their video. Right. When you're mobile, you're mobile. When you get back into the home, you want to carry that same experience, have the same look and feel. Right. We've launched this successfully in Europe and the Middle East. Mm -hmm. We're now looking to identify customers in the Americas to take advantage of these new technologies. Right. Now, Mike, you you worked with several other satellite companies before, and yes, you, it it's a very competitive field. And right. Here at the NAB, the major players are here. What differentiates you from the others? Well, there's a, there's a couple. First off, mm -hmm. Utilsat. You know, leads in a lot of innovations mm -hmm. in this industry. Everything right. from electric propulsion to the quantum, the Utilsat quantum satellite will be launching next year with, with electronically steerable um, elect, uh, antenna payloads. Mm -hmm. um, and again, Cirrus is a differentiator in the marketplace. Right. But more fundamentally, compared to you know some of our competitors, we rely more on our channel partners. Right. Okay? We don't operate a lot of customer facing facilities in the Americas. So I go to market mm -hmm. through most of the teleports and service providers in video and data. So we're very much aligned with the local uh, folks on the ground who bring their local expertise and knowledge coupled with the advantages and strengths that Utilsat provides. Right, right. Now, uh, as you said, uh, Mike, you've been in the business a long time. You come to the NAB every year. It's about <laughs> my 35th NAB. Actually. Wow, wow, this is my 96th. 22nd, <laughs> and I met you that the first time you did. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, how do you see the industry going forward, and how is Utilsat? You know. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, change is constant, and the speed of change mm -hmm. is even more uh, acute. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that all across the spectrum. Right. Um, in terms of the, uh, the convert, you know, we have been through the, the changes with video compression and all kinds of higher order modulation. Right. We're now in the midst of the IP revolution, where all sources are migrating to an all IP environment. Mm -hmm. There's a great deal more emphasis on 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 harmonization across both satellite and terrestrial networks, which is where IP right. and the Cirrus development starts to fold in very nicely to that. Right. And, and again, there's so many ways to make satellite relevant for mm -hmm. the transmission of video. Satellites are inherently better than terrestrial networks for, for, for one to massive point distribution. We're just real, very, very reliable mm -hmm. when the number of cross points in a network exceeds 100. It's still just as true now right. as it was 10 years ago. And so we have an efficiency story. We should pay a satellite a fixed cost model for bandwidth and delivery across an entire hemisphere right. versus the OTT models, which tend to focus on a cost per use or cost per transport stream model, right. very much a variable cost model. Right. And of course, one can't exist without the other, but there's some elegant ways to operate these two networks together right. and make the most efficient use of these networks and use them in the right way, and that's the kind of things we're focused on.
So I take it uh, you're still bullish about the satellite uh, business. I love this business. Okay. Um, they will carry me out of it kicking and screaming. <laughs> uh, well, I probably kick and scream anyway. <laughs> but, um, but fundamentally, it's a very strong business, robust set of customers, right. essential services right. uh, across so many markets and verticals. So easy and so quick to nail up services over satellite. Um, Long-term sustainable value in the networks we build our customers. Yes, I'm very bullish. Right. Well, thank you very much, Mike. That's a very good overview of your company and the uh, industry going forward. My pleasure, Virgil. Thank you. Right, thank you. And for all the news and information in the global satellite industry, you always have satellite markets and research at www.satellitemarkets.com.